It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New York Giants and the New Orleans Saints, and it's coming up next. From a city that has hosted 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gunn joined by Charles Davis here at the Superdome. But Charles, these Saints, after a good run from 2017 to 2020, have kind of been middle of the pack the last couple of years, seven and 10 a season ago. What's their recipe for turning things around? I think continuing the short passing game that they're known for and see if some of their playmakers can make some short passes into longer plays. And then on defense, continuing to pressure quarterbacks in the pocket. They tend to get after them pretty hard. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. Glad you're with us. It's Blake Groupie to get this one started, and off we go here in New Orleans. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. He'll look to throw. That ball caught by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll look to throw here. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that's going to bring up second down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. Here's second and ten. They'll set up to throw. That is incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. 
Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. He's the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Takes it to about the 37. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. They run it again with Kamara. And this will line up a Saints first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Now a play fake, Carr. And this one is incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Kamara trying to run for him. And I don't think Kamara got there. Looks like they stopped him short. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. So on fourth down, on is Lou Headley to punt for New Orleans. Back deep is Gunnar Olszewski. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try to put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. 
forced out to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. I hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Barkley inside. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. A call and locker skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. He'll drop to throw. Complete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Seventh play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll set up a throw. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. He saw the pressure, and he got out, but he never got upfield. And the defense, they took full advantage of a rookie mistake there. They were able to add a big loss on the sack. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. Fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. To throw, it's Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Carr. He lets it go deep for Olave. It got his man complete. Still going inside the 20. Olave, 92 yards, and the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they were back in the shadows for their own goalpost, and that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, the conservative, easy call, run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, your natural inclination is to try and really force them back, and sometimes they get burned that way. And they got burned there. 
And a point after, good by Groupie. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? And turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're open to turn into first downs and hopefully points. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. On second down, here's Barkley. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Holding offense. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. He didn't like what he saw downfield. Decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Carr now on first down. Downfield, and he's got a lob And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. On that catch, he's already eclipsed 100 yards here in the first quarter. Charles, he's on pace for over 400. And playing with great confidence, isn't he? I think he probably had it coming into the game, and now that he's really come out of the gate this strongly, how'd you like to be in the huddle with him right now? You know he's demanding the He'll football. The and guess what? I throw it to him. He's having a fantastic game, and they haven't defended him yet. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Now a second and six. Again, it's Kamara. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Kamara up the middle. 
No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. A 10th carry for Camara. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, 29 yards. And the Saints have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open. He has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Here's Groupie for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And now out come the Giants. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and four. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. A first down carry for Barkley. Down to about the 37. This a second and seven from the 37. They'll look to throw. And he's taken down here by the Saints. 
More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. But when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big play that time on the catch and run. 31 yards. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Saquon Barkley running right. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. He'll look to throw. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. That's the former Buckeye Pete Warner getting the sack. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to. This is caught. It's Robinson with a Giants touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Giants have got it back to within a score. Well, so it goes for a rookie quarterback. He had the INT earlier in this first half, but he bounces back with a touchdown pass. And you have to like the mental acumen, the toughness, the fortitude of him, because oftentimes for a rookie, you throw an interception early, you're taken right out of the game, or mentally, you check out a little bit. Give him a lot of credit for bouncing back. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and that'll make our score 14 to seven. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Trying to get that one to Chris Olave, but it'll be second down. Here's Carr. He lets it go deep for Olave. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Throwing his car on third down. Complete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Now here's Lou Headley now. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. 
It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Giant football first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's complete to Slayton. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. This offense so far on third down, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he is caught, and he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline, but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Up the middle with Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. He'll look to throw. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. It'll go as a gain of four. And they're going to have a third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Here is third down and four. They'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Back to throw now on second and 10. Oh, and that is incomplete. Perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. They'll set up to throw. Dance into his left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure. Oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet 
to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. Now back to throw. It's Barkley once again bringing it in the catch. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good convergence there defensively, only a yard, and it's second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Giants are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Barkley is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll look to throw here. That's to the pylon and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. They're going to look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Bullock good on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Pass midfield. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. But that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? The focus goes back to Chris Alave, the Saints offense, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Carr going to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. The final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard from his end zone here's Rashid Shahid and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the Saints now they'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Shoves him aside. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. Now second and five. Now Carr, Alave over the middle. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now Carr. So it's incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. It'll be a Saints first down on the pickup of 13. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Alave motioning to the left. 
And they'll fake the jet sweep there and instead hand to Camara. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, but now it's third down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When you get into the second half of a tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance, and this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary, and that's a job well done there. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. In motion right, Alave. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snap. but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Shotgun now for Carr. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. To the touchdown. Here's Groupie to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. Darius Slayton and the rest of this offense about to begin their next drive. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Man, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, they, you do. You get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. One of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have a big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or 
You have defensive tackles that might line up in the A-gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, that gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. And out of bounds right around the 20. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. to throw. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Giants are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and we are tied at 21. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Here's Kamara off the draw, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Throwing his car on third down. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That gain on third down, good for 28. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. On first and ten, here's Carr. Johnson's got it complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. <laughs> to throw, it's Carr. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now they 
They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Here's Carr. That is caught. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Throwing on first down is Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. On play action, now Carr. And it's caught, the tight end Hill. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. From the gun, it's Carr. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And his kick is indeed good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. So after the field goal, back out is Groupie to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Second down, here's Barkley again. Nifty move. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And even 100 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three-point game, second and ten. A handoff, Barkley running left, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there gonna be incomplete. 
Trevor happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. Now Carr drops this off to Kamara out of the backfield, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Throwing now is Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Carr now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Now a toss, Camaro left side. And they went the wrong way there, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? Well, Kyle, and he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Well, third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Oh, the return is Olszewski. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. 
We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Barkley inside handoff. Oh, what a juke into space. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles, gain some additional yardage. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. He'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Second down and four. They'll drop to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Back to throw here. Is what was once a nice drive, stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Bullock's kick is good, and in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football, and getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Here's Carr to throw. This one taken in by Alave. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. to Shahid. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down.
Now, Carr again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw his car. Into the hands of Perry, complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I'll give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat him on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. This second and four. Again, it's Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing his car on third down. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it, who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well, and maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The New York set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. On second down, here's Barkley. And some room to work. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. They go play action here on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There's a reason the number four was flashing through my mind when he let that one go. Three touchdowns already in his back pocket. The deep ball's been a great weapon for him in this one. Unfortunately, empty on that attempt. Now a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. His throw incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. So third down, and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. They'll set up a throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Oh, heck of a move. Man. He's going to go out of bounds. 
Adams, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Do I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive and it winds up breaking big and it convert on third down. Running left, it's Barkley. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Boy, 175 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Barkley again. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Giants have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Bullock good on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Saints, 24. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Chris Alave, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. <laughs> to throw, it's Carr. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Just a disaster of a series here. Third and long, no one open anywhere. This ball just has to be thrown to the sideline. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. And that is incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Well, they've got the slim deficit, decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But boy, deep in their own territory like that? Let's just say that with that call, me and the head coach will agree to disagree. 
All right, but he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. So I guarantee he told his defensive coordinator, have your guys up and ready. I'm going to go for it here. If we don't get it, just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Now we get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal now back to throw and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown so whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about what seven years four touchdown passes that's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 44 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing his car. It's complete. Camara. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here comes second down at five. Carr. Completes it to Perry. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and 10. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Here's first down. Now Carr. Alave holds it in. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
This is first and ten. Car to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Here's Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 15-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Let's have some fun. Let's get something going now. Get something going. You're supposed to catch that, baby. That's how we eat. All right, go get them. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing now is Carr. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. Complete to Jawan Johnson. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 14-yard line. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the bayou.